Today we're working with the Advanced Contrast uh, tool. It's in the uh, Pro section of Luminar 4. It's a really awesome tool for really uh, bringing all the contrast out of your image in a beautiful way. It breaks it down into highlights, midtones, and shadows, and it's a really exceptional tool. And I want you to really be able to wrap your head around it today. So I'm including three different images that I'm going to be working on. Uh, I'll link them in the description below so you can download them and work along with me because I think it'll really help you. Uh, we're taking a deep dive into this tool, so without any further ado, let's get started. To start off, come down to the Pro uh, section right here, the Pro tab, and give it a click, and then open up Advanced Contrast by clicking on it, all right? Now inside here, there's only six sliders here. Uh, we have the Highlights Contrast, Highlights Balance, Midtones Contrast, Midtones Balance, Shadows Contrast, and Shadows Balance. Now, this balance control is very important here, so you got to really pay attention to what I'm saying when I start to adjust this balance here, because that is the key to understanding this tool. If you can understand the balance, this tool will be very effective for you, okay? Now, here's the way I like to start. I like to start with highlights, all right? So we're going to be adjusting the highlight contrast. So the lighter areas of the image, it's just going to pick those out. Now, when I move this highlights contrast to the right, watch the image. You'll notice that the image tends to get duller in the highlights. You know, they're not getting bright. You would think if I move this highlights contrast to the right, they would get brighter, right? But they're not. They're getting duller. And the reason being is, again, it's this balance point here, which is very, very important. Watch when I move it to the right. They'll get even more duller. But watch when I move it to the left. Watch the highlights start to get lighter. Do you see that? So I just want to adjust that till they look just right. But this, again, is the key if you can understand how this balance works. So again, I like to start out moving this up, you know, somewhere around, you know, 50% or so. In fact, let me put it to 50. I like to start at 50, and then I'll move the uh, balance point to the left and to the right just to see where it looks right. And again, this is, all you're doing here is looking to what pleases your eye. Whenever you see something pleasing your eye, that's the point you want to be set to. It's just that simple right there. And so now I've set my highlight contrast point. Now I'm going to go to the midtone. So I'm going to take it and move it to around 50. Again, that's a good starting point. Now I'm going to take the midtones balance. I'm going to move it to the right. See how it's getting duller in here? And I'm looking at the butterfly or the moth here. So I'm going the wrong direction. So go the opposite direction. Go left. So notice when I go left, that contrast starts to build in the midtones. And where do you stop at? You stop at, at the point where you think it looks right. And I'm thinking, for me, it looks right right about here. Now I can come to the midtones contrast. If I feel I need more contrast, move this to the right. If I need less contrast, move this to the left. So I think I need more, so I'm going to move it to the right and build up on that contrast. Maybe somewhere right around there. And again, I'm going to play with my midtones balance point. And get it yeah maybe right right around there looks good now my highlights have changed a little bit here because obviously these two zones are getting close together because of these balance points where they're adjusted so I might have to revisit the highlights here so let me play with that a little bit so yeah see I might have to move that a little bit more to the left just to make that a little bit lighter and maybe increase my highlights contrast a little bit more you don't want to go too much or you'll blow out those points. Now let's click the toggle here. There's the before and there's the after. So far, so good. Now let's move to the shadows. Again, let's do that same little trick. Move it up to about 50. And then let's adjust the shadows. Let's go to the left. Now we're losing contrast. I'm going to go to the right. I'm gaining contrast. So now I'm moving in the right direction. And again, I'm going to stop where I think it looks good. And I'm going to say right around there. Now I'm going to take my contrast. I'm going to start out. I'm going to go to the left. That'll decrease that contrast. Go to the right and increase it. And then just stop where you think it looks right. And I think it looks right right around there. So now let's take a look. Let's click the toggle. Here's the before and there's the after. But look at that beautiful contrast. So again, the takeaway here is the key is knowing where to set the balance point of all the different uh, zones here, highlights, midtones, and shadows. We're going to do another image, and it'll come clear the more we work with this. So on to the next image.
now we're working with this nice little image of an owl right here okay so we're going to use those same principles we're going to start out with the highlights contrast move it up to about 50 as a starting point and now we're going to take our highlights balance we're going to move it to the right things get duller and just i'm mainly looking at the highlights i'm mainly looking at this section right here so i'm going to start to move the uh, highlights balance to the left and if I go too far, see, I blow out those highlights. And also, what's your histogram? See, your histogram is blown out there. So, you got to take it slow and easy, but be watching the highlighted areas. And stop when you think it looks right, and I think it looks right, right about there. Let's click the toggle. Here's the before, and here's the after. But again, I start out at, at the center here, around 50, and then I find the balance point. That's important. And then we come back to the contrast and move it to the right to increase contrast or move it to the left to decrease contrast. Now, this is where you want to set the contrast to the perfect level. But the starting point is to get this balance point right, and then you tweak it with the actual contrast control, giving it more contrast or less contrast. And I'm thinking maybe right around there looks pretty good. And let's toggle again, before and after, before and after. And see, look at all the highlighted areas, how they start to pop, which is really nice. Now let's go to the midtones. Again, let's uh, move this up to about 50, just as a starting point. And now let's move our balance point. Let's move it to the right. See, it's getting duller that way. So we move it to the left and find that perfect balance point for the midtones. And I'm thinking maybe right around there. Now let's play with our contrast. Move it to the right to increase contrast. Move it to the left to decrease it. So. I might increase it a little bit to the right. And let me play with the mid-tones balance again. Just right there. I think that looks good. Let's toggle it before and after, before and after. And watch the owl's eye right there. It's kind of lights up a little bit more before and after, before and after. Looking good. Now let's move on to shadows contrast. So you see the, the uh, procedure here. So we come up about halfway. And now we're going to move the shadows balance to the right. Everything gets darker. All the dark parts of the uh, shadows get darker, increasing contrast. Move it to the left, decreases contrast. So you have your choice here. You can decrease contrast by moving it to the left or increase it to the right. So in this one, I might just want to, I might want to decrease it slightly by moving it to the left very slightly. And now let's play with our shadows contrast and get it looking just the way we think it should look. Right there, let me play with the balance here a little bit more. Actually, I might just go a little bit to the right, right around there. Now let's click on the eyeball or the toggle here. Here's the before and here's the after. But look at that, look at that beautiful contrast and that image just pops. Hopefully you're starting to get the hang of this, but again, I just want to keep emphasizing it's these balance points that really make the difference here. And then you tweak it with the actual contrast slider. I chose this last image because it's a little bit more challenging. It's uh, Lighting's not really great in it, in my opinion here. But what really bothers me is the windows seem a little bit blown out. Like this stack of wood here seems a little bit blown out in here. I'm going to see if we can use this advanced contrast tool to kind of like... Um, bring out a little bit more dynamic range in this image, okay? So let's see what we can do here. Let's start out with the highlights contrast. Let's move it to the right. And as I do, you can see that the highlights are being tamed here, okay? So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna do my, my standard uh, starting uh, step, which is move this to around 50. And then let's take the balance. Let's start out, move it to the right. Move it to the left. As you see, as I go to the left, it blows these highlights out. And you can see on the histogram, the highlights are really blown out. So I got to go. I'm starting at zero. I got to move it to the right. And watch this wood right in here. And watch the window. See how things get a little bit more defined and clear when I move this to the right? So I'm definitely going in the right direction. So I'm going to go maybe right around here somewhere. Now I'm going to play with my highlights contrast control. And just tweak with this to where I think it looks right. And maybe somewhere right around there. But we're mainly looking at the highlights because we're working with the highlights first. Let's toggle this. Here's the before and there's the after. But that's really helped it a good bit. It's helping that dynamic range a little bit. 
Let me just play with this a little bit more. Yeah, right around there. Sorry, I got to keep playing. Now we're going to go to the midtones contrast. Let's move it up to about 50. There we go, right there. Now let's move the balance to the right. Things get darker. Move it to the left. Things lighten up. So on this one, I think I'm going to move it to the left. A decent amount here. And I'm looking for, I don't want to lose detail in these areas up in here, so I'm kind of really studying the images as I move this. So now let's play with the midtones contrast here. And again, just adjust it to where it looks right. And I'm thinking maybe right around there. Now let's click the toggle. Here's the before and here's the after. Before and after. So I think it's improving. I think we're really going to see a lot of benefit on the shadows contrast. So let's move it up to the right. All right. To about 50. Now we'll move the shadows balance to the right. When we do, things are going to get darker and darker and darker. But in this case, we're going to move to the left. And as I said, I think this is really what's going to help us. See what happens? That dynamic range is automatically, well, not automatically. It's happening because we're moving the slider. As I move this to the left, it is opening up the image a little bit. The dynamic range is increasing in the image. And how far do I go? Just to where it looks good. So right around there. Now let's play with the contrast. Okay. The shadows contrast, that is. And maybe right around there. So let's see if I did what I said I was going to do. I was going to try to increase dynamic range. So let's click the toggle. Here's the before. Lots of contrast. Here's the after. So we've definitely increased the dynamic range. So this is a really cool tool. And I think if you download these three images and work along with me, I think you're going to get your head wrapped around this tool. And it's really going to aid you in your further editing uh, adventure with Luminar 4. There it is, the advanced contrast tool inside of Luminar 4. I'll tell you what, this, this tool took me a while to really understand how it was actually working. I was really confused by it, so I really took some time and analyzed it, and I figured I got to put a video out so everybody can benefit from what I learned from it. So everything I learned, I put out in this video today. And please download those images and work along with me because I think if you do, you're going to really understand the way this advanced contrast tool works. And it's really going to aid you in your editing using Luminar 4. It's a wonderful tool. I really love it. Uh, so go ahead and download those images and work along with me. Hey, if you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified.